Okay, so let's start. Right. Hello, everyone. Good evening. Uh, welcome to this MRCP PSS communication practice webinar. Uh, so this is a session where you can practice and we are more than happy to provide you feedback on your performance. So this is more like a practice session rather than we talking about or teaching something definite to you. Uh, as you, if you are a candidate who's planning for PSS exam, you might have known by now that for most international medical graduates, the main reason or the main hurdle to pass the PSS exam is the communication station. So if you look at all the different parameters where people are marked, the international doctor fail in the communication area. So they are good enough to find out the physical, uh, to complete the physical exam and identify the clinical signs. They can uh, also manage the patient uh, concerns, but the communication bit is the main hurdle for passing the PACES exam. And the only way you can do really good communication is by practicing it because there are certain phrases that the examiner will want to hear from you. And unless you say this, you might know everything about the medical disease or the topic, but unless you actually utter the sentences and these phrases, you will not pass this particular station. So the current communication station scenario in the new PACES format, there will be two. And those are 10 minute station where you don't get any interaction with the examiner. So you go in 10 minutes, you have a communication or you have a conversation. And once your 10 minutes is done, you walk out of the room and the examiner is going to mark you based on what you have spoken. So there is no room for the examiner to judge uh, how well you know the topic, whether you know about the treatment of the disease or anything at all. So we will start uh, now for this session with me, uh, so I'm Dr. Suman Paul. I'm one of the, uh, the course director, assistant course director for the study MRCP um, <clears throat> courses. We run both part one, part two courses for the theory exam. And for the practical, we run the PSS exam. And with me, I have uh, my colleague, Dr. Rahul Balsaraj. He's another mentor for our MRCP courses. Hi, Rahul. Hi, Dr. Suman. Yeah, so I think you have just summarized the whole thing. And uh, yeah, just I'd like to echo what uh, Dr. Suman has said that uh, it is mainly about practice. So as you as he said, the communication station is uh, one of the most difficult, especially for the Indian students, because we are not used to uh, doing this on a regular basis. So this is a station which we need to practice and uh, practice will make you much better and you'll be more comfortable during your actual exam. So let's not delay it, uh, Dr. Suman, let's Yeah, so out of the participants, uh, we need someone to uh, actually come up and uh, do the scenario. So I'll be the patient here, like in this scenario, like I'm going to be the surrogate for Mrs. Karen Craig who's a 30 year old married accountant with no children. Uh, so we need a volunteer who would do the scenario with me. And uh, this is a scenario you can see on the screen, have a read. And then if you feel comfortable, then you can unmute yourself, start the video. And uh, you, we, you can be the candidate for this and Dr. Rahul is going to provide you feedback after the scenario. Now, in this scenario, you can see this is for 14 minutes, but we will follow the current PCS 23 format. And this is going to be 10 minutes because the timing have changed now. It used to be 14, 15 minutes before 14 plus one, and then another five minutes for discussion. But the discussion part is now gone the collecting your thought parts is now gone. So uh, it's, it's a 10 minute encounter. That's where, uh, that's what the pieces current format looks like. So 10 minutes, you will have to 
uh, follow this instruction, have a read of the scenario, and then anyone can come forward. You can unmute yourself, and then we can do this. So, how many doctors do we have? So, we have, we have five doctors who have done this. Well, let me get six. Yeah. So I'm sure all of you might, one of you might be appearing for the exam soon or plan to appear. So any one of you can come forward. Is this Mrithun Jai? Yeah. Hello, sir. Good evening. Yeah. Hi, Mrithun Jai. So you are our first volunteer. Uh, welcome to this session. So have you had a read of the scenario? Yeah, just some reading, sir. Okay, have a, have a read. Let me know when you are ready. So shall I put a timer on or uh, are you... Rahul, yeah, please, please do the timer. Yeah, I can't do that. Yeah. Yeah. Please do the yeah. timer. So I'll give a so warning whenever... when there are two minutes left, right? Uh, maybe let's do it one minute because it's 10 minutes now. Yeah. Yeah, I'm ready, sir. Ready? Yep. Okay, so you have had a read of the scenario. Okay, so, okay. The, so okay. here the diagnosis is already very clearly given. So you are not, your job is not to make a diagnosis. Okay, yes. so it's mainly about talking about the disease and all. So I will be the surrogate for the patient. Uh, right. So we will start now. Okay, so you are entering the clinic. Now let's start. Uh, go, go on. Hello, sir. Uh, I'm hello? the doctor for you. Yeah. I'm the doctor. Here I pointed for you. Okay. Uh, let me discuss what happened to you. Are you uh, patient? Actually, uh, your patient may have some serious issue or the brain issue. For that, he'll end up in the situation. We will try to deal in the best possible way. Mm -hmm. Sir, we'll have to explain the whole scenario to the uh, patient or uh, just we'll have to make a summary. Uh, you don't need to explain all or everything point by point. Okay, sir. So, okay. Uh, so basically, sir, he had the, some brain problem. Possibly, he may have the some mild kind of a stroke, or maybe some uh, other disorder. We'll have to look for the, some a scan. Later, we will confirm mm -hmm. you. For that, we will give the best possible treatment to you. Okay. Uh, so what did I have? Yes, sir. What did I so have? Possibly, possibly they have the sir MS. Sir. MS. What is MS? Ah, uh, multiple sclerosis, sir. Okay, and what happens with that? Ah, uh, they have the uh, neurological deficit, sir. Visual loss is there, sir. What is, what is neurological deficit? Uh, so they have the weakness in the left leg. That is so much progressive, sir. That not the acute onset. And at the same time, see, uh, they developed the uh, visual disturbance sir, from the last one year. But I don't have any visual disturbance for last one year. I had something a year back, uh, but... I don't have any problem now. Uh, as we have done the 
देयर सीएसएफ एनालिसिस बी फाउंड सीएसएफ सिस्ट सिरिबल स्पाइनल फ्लूइड व्हाट वी हैव फाउंड देयर इज सम बैंड सेल वी हैव सीन दैट पार्टिकुलर्स कमिंग इन द सम डिजीज सो पॉसिबली दे हैव द the cs picture is coming look like normal cell they know nothing they no auricular oligoconal band what we have suspecting so what does that mean we have ruled out the ms cell but you said i have ms now uh, possibly we have uh, before the in the mri uh, like the picture has came and the presentation look like that but the lumbar puncture is discarding it So I don't have MS. Ah, uh, it's not look like, sir. Okay, so then I'm fine. Ah, uh, it's not fine, sir. Ah, uh, possibly a different scenario may be there. We'll have to look into it. So what different scenario could be there? Ah, uh, possibly, sir, some acute uh, neurological infection is may be there because ah uh, the presentation look like the three weeks ago they have something developed. In as a in patient, he admitted. So can we look for the one uh, GBA, sir? GBS. So you think I don't have MS, but I have something else, infection. Uh, possibly, sir. MS is the first in the picture. Ah, uh, presentation and the MRI both showing the same thing. Right. So, so most uh, probably you have the MS. But you just said I don't have MS. The CSF is ruling out. The infection has ruled out from the CSF. MS is the most probable is here. Okay, so now you say you mean that I, I still have MS. Mm, uh, yes, sir. We are still on the MS. Possibly you have the only MS. Okay, so and uh, so MS I heard is a really bad disease. Uh, I could be yeah. Ah, uh, 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 basically, sir, ah, uh, it's it's uh, not such kind of bad disease. Your life may be hampered, but not so much. We'll try to be like ah, uh, you will ah, uh, let your life so comfortable with the medicine, sir. Just you have to aware with the situation. It may come again, so you just have to visit the doctor. So it's a uh, you can say it's it's a ah uh, disease of on and off. So you have to aware it. so you mean to say there is treatment available for this no yes sir okay and what are the treatments available is it some tablets uh, we'll we'll have some tablets sir that will help you we have some tnf that will help you tnf is that the name of tablet S sir in you have the inter we have the interferon sir that will help okay so is a tablet for we have Ah, it's ah, uh, it's coming in the injection form. That will help. And what are the chances that the symptoms will recur? Ah, uh, there is chance of thirty to fifty percent. It may recur in the one next one to two years. So you again, you have to visit the doctors. Right. And will I be able to continue working? I work as the accountant. Yeah, you can continue. Your life will not so much hampered. Just you have to stick with the treatment. Okay, and uh, can I have children? What sir? Do you get you having children? So, ah, uh, you have to look, sir. Ah, uh, your genetic investigation. You you have to go through it because it's it's a disease. Ah, uh, it there is less chance, but chance of hereditary is there. So you have to go through the your, your children investigation. Right. So my children can get the disease from me then. There is chances. So, can I drive then? Continue driving cars. Ah, uh, better not to do, sir. Try to avoid. So, how will I uh, commute then? How if I am unable to drive? 
how would like the meal to work? Sir, try to if uh, if possible, try to take the uh, public vehicle, sir. Do I have to inform DVLA about this? Uh, it's better, sir, so that they know the, your situations. Right. Okay. And what is the long term outlook? Uh, how long will I can will will I be able to do everything that I'm doing now? Uh, it basically, says it's difficult to say how long it will be. But up to five to ten years, you will you will be good. You will not land up the so much bad condition. After that, there may be chance of the progress of the deeds gonna bad for you. Right. And are the medicines good enough to prevent the progression? Uh it's not good enough, sir. We can't say it's a good enough. But yeah, your life is not so much in the problematic. Okay. Um, and is it possible that these are like, so you said that one of the fluid result is negative. So is it mm. possible that this could be like a wrong diagnosis? Like, do I definitely have MS? Yeah, basically so it's a, a scan diagnosis. Most of this a scan diagnosis. We have done the CSA because some equipment was there. Yeah, one so minute. for that, is it possible have... that is it possible that the scan result is wrong? Is is someone else's scan result? Because it's, my fluid it's, is normal. It's, it's rare, but chances of human error may be there, sir. If you want, you can go for the second opinion, sir. There's no problem in it. So can I have another scan then? It's, uh, uh, I can't suggest, sir. I don't think. It's a scan problem. So you're sure that this is not the scan is correct? Mm, yes, sir. Okay, okay. Anything else, sir? Uh, no, that's all. I, I, uh, okay, I your time is make up. some arrangements. Okay, Dr. Pratyunjay. Uh, uh, sir. So your time is up. So, uh, yeah, I appreciate you for coming forward. Uh, but, uh, yeah, as an examiner, you wouldn't have passed the station, to be frank. So, see, first of all, I think, uh, see, before you enter into the, into the station, you will have five so, minutes according to the new PACES 20, 23 format. Okay, so you have five minutes and the communication station is along with another examination station that is either the respiratory and the cardiovascular, if I'm not mistaken, Dr. Suman. Abdomen. Yeah, so it's clubbed with, yeah, with abdomen and respiratory. Uh, you have, so you have five minutes to go through this scenario. And usually the, see, the respiratory or the abdomen system, you don't need to read too much. There'll be just a single line saying that kindly examine. That's all. So most of the time you need to spend reading the scenario and you need to read it at least two or three times to get to know what exactly is your role and what is the problem in front of you. So yes, first of all, uh, see, the patient is a lady and you have been calling the patient, sir, sir, sir. Even though Dr. Suman is, he is acting as the lady patient. You understand, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, sir. So that is the first mistake that you made. Okay. Uh, yes, uh, Dr. Suman, if you can just go back to the, the, the scenario, the information to the yeah. candidate. Yeah. Yeah. Then the other thing is, uh, you didn't introduce yourself. You have to say who you are. You just said, uh, I am the doctor appointed to you. You didn't say your name. Okay. You need to introduce yourself, yes, who you are. Because yes, the patient has no idea who's talking. You understood, yes, right? Sir, sir. Yes, sir. And the other thing is you need to confirm the identity of the patient. So you, you need to say, okay, hello, good good morning. Uh, uh, I am Dr. Rahul Valsaraj from the, the medical unit. I'm the medic, one of the medical doctors. And 
uh, am I miss speaking to Mrs. Karen Fake? Uh, okay. So then the patient will be like, oh, yes, I'm Mrs. Karen Fake. So that is the first thing that you've made a mistake in. Yes, sir. Then the other thing is, see, the diagnosis is already known. You are explaining. You are, this is a scenario where you are breaking a bad news or you are giving the diagnosis to the patient. It's something like breaking bad news. Yes, sir. So the patient has already been diagnosed. There is no question of uh, a doubt about the diagnosis. If you read the scenario carefully, the patient was admitted three weeks ago. Some tests were done. Uh, because she had symptoms in her uh, leg and a previous history of transient visual loss one year ago. And the test found that there were uh, demyelinating lesions, the, the white matter plaques and uh, visual delayed visual ex evoked responses. So your task is to explain the results of the test and the diagnosis. So there's no question about talking about something else. There's no doubt about it. You understand, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Then the other thing is regarding using short forms and medical jargon. So in some scenarios, some patients will get, they will act as though they get really irritated. And even the examiners will get irritated. If you are using uh, like MS, GBS, okay, CSF, all this, the patient does not understand all this. Neurological deficit, what is all that? So you cannot use all those terms. You need to speak in simple languages. Okay. Yes, sir, sir. And so, so, so when we begin, so I'm just see, I have just prepared. In fact, I thought I was going to be the the actually the candidate, and I thought we are going to role play the whole thing, me and Doctor Suman. So, so this is how I would. I'm just giving an example. This is how I would have started. So. So hello, good morning. Uh, uh, am I speaking morning, to Mrs. Uh, Karen? Yeah. Uh, uh, am I speaking to yes, that's uh, right. Mrs. Karen Craig? Is it okay yeah, if I right. call you Karen? Yeah, yeah. Feel free. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I'm uh, Dr. Rahul Valsaraj. Uh, I'm one of the medical doctors in the in the ward, uh, in the clinic. Sorry. Uh, so uh, I heard uh, you were. Uh, unwell uh, three weeks ago and you were admitted i've just read your file uh, how are you doing now oh yes that's right uh i had to come to hospital because of weakness of my leg uh it's been a couple of weeks since then uh my weakness got better and i am back on my feet again um uh, so i i am feeling much better but uh, i had some tests and uh, the doctor said that i have to come to clinic for the results Yes, uh, that's right. That, that's why we are here to discuss uh, regarding your tests and your diagnosis. Uh, before I go into that, is there anybody else who's accompanying you that uh, you would like to be a part of uh, this meeting or have you come alone? Uh, I'm on my own today. Okay, okay, that's fine. Uh, so yes, uh, so regarding the tests that we have done, uh, I'm sure uh, you know what all tests that we were uh, you had gone in for an MRI scan of your your brain and your spine. Uh, I, do you remember all those things that we did? Uh, and, yeah, uh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, uh, they put me in in one of those uh, tunnel machines for the scan, and uh, I, I yes. endured it for like a, it seems like a long time. Uh, yes, and yes, yes. And they also did another uh, needle uh, from the back and collected some fluids. Yes, that's right. That's right. So, so we have gone through the reports of the tests. So, so see in the MRI scan, uh, we have found, see, there is something called the, your nerves, your nerves and the brain has a coating. So we have found that some of the coating is, has been damaged. You understand that, I, right? In I, the brain and the spinal cord, some of the oh, coating has okay, been damaged. Okay. That sounds and, pretty serious. Uh, uh, actually, so I'll just come to it. So there is something, uh, even in the eyes, uh, we have noticed somewhat a similar kind of a, a report, like uh, the, okay. the nerve signals in your eyes are also 
little bit it is slow right and uh, even in your uh, in your the the needle which was put and some fluid was taken out from your spinal cord from your mm -hmm. spine uh, we have found some uh, some uh, bands so so all this is fitting into a diagnosis of multiple sclerosis oh oh i heard about multiple sclerosis i understand it's a really serious disease so so uh, do you do you have any idea regarding that or do, do you know anybody yes, who has had a similar I... I, I know one of my um, like uh, neighbors, uh, they had this and they they had to go on a wheelchair. So, so what I would like to tell you is that, see, uh, multiple sclerosis is something, since we have found this uh, diagnosis now itself, uh, it is something that we can control with medications. As so... The thing about this disease is uh, some people will have a very good course. Like it'll, you might have certain episodes in the middle. You might have that. That is not predictable, actually. You understand, right? But okay. with this treatment, which is available, medications and injections, which are available, we can prevent these episodes from happening. We can try to decrease the incidence of these episodes in the future. Mm -hmm. you understand yes yes but some people if these episodes recur very very frequently they might have some disability but not every patient behaves like that right right and is there a treatment for this condition yes as i said uh, there are medications and injections which are available and uh, what I would like to do is I would like to refer you to the, the brain doctors, that is the neurology doctors, so that right. this can be treated by experts. Uh, so you can get the correct treatment uh, from their side. Is that okay? Right. Uh, yeah, 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 that sounds like a plan. And can I have children? Uh, yes. So, so, uh, this disease does not affect uh, your pregnancy in the sense you can become pregnant just like a normal person. However, your disease needs to be in control. And uh, if you become pregnant, they might you might have to change the medicines a little bit. Uh, but uh, usually, there, nothing happens during pregnancy. But sometimes after pregnancy, some people can have a flare-up. But uh, if you're taking the medicines, the chances of that will be less. Okay, okay. And can I continue to drive to my workplace? So what I would like to tell you is that uh, you need to notify the DVLA. And uh, right. as long as you don't have any uh, disability or impairment in your functioning, uh, you mm -hmm. should be able to drive. But however, I would request you to uh, speak to the DVLA and then we can proceed from there. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you, doctor. Okay, so yeah, we have okay. we have Is... like covered do, did it quite short in a way. So I've not I've yeah. skipped some of the questions just in the interest yeah. of time. But yeah, so this yeah. is how the structure. This is the uh, formal structure of a consultation and. Uh, Mrithunjal, so this is a model consultation which you just witnessed. And uh, as you saw, Dr. Rahul, he basically followed a, a kind of a very structured pattern which is there in his mind. And you need to have a structure of communication. You can't just go in and just start talking because in your mind, you need to have a structure. Like he started the introduction. He checked my background knowledge. It's very important. So he asked me what I know about my admission and my uh, disease. And then he followed a very, very nice structured way and gone through the communication. Okay, so any questions? One more thing uh, uh, I, I, I was supposed to ask, do you, do you have any other concerns? So that is yeah, another, yeah. so that is the main, <laughs> that's another mark, yes. which is very important. So yeah, exactly. yeah I, I skipped that bit. Yeah, but yeah, that's very yeah. important. Right. So 
from the other participants. Uh, any questions that you have? Uh, we also need another volunteer for our next scenario. So. is feel free to unmute yourself um i think we can display the scenario to them i cannot see it actually yeah for 10 minutes so ignore this 14 minute bit uh, so this is going to be 10 minutes so dr rahul will be the surrogate patient here Please feel free to come forward because we can do, me and Dr. Rahul can do it, but that's not going to help you. So you have witnessed how to do it. We have given you an example, a structure, uh, but you need to be doing it. Otherwise, we it's not going to help you if we do it and you just watch because a lot of the, when you were actually speaking in the exam, in that heat of the moment, you basically forget everything. So the only thing that actually works at that stage is your, I mean, muscle memory your, or your basically your autonomic nervous system. So you need to practice this, only then you will be able to deliver this in the examination um, environment. So this is an opportunity for you to practice so, and try to do it in a formal way. So I just joined, sir. So yeah, this is a his, uh, history That's taking information. or what? This is a communication yeah, okay. station. So There's no history okay. taking any more in bases. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So this is a communication station. Okay, okay, okay. So if uh, if history you are okay, then gone. I can do it, sir. Not an issue. Okay, okay, okay that's okay. fine. Okay. Have a read. Have a take your time. So you will get five minutes to read the scenario. Um. So have a read. I think we can show the scenario. I cannot see the scenario. Dr. Is it not coming up on your thing? Meaning the there's only the role is coming. Meaning the, the scenario. Oh, yeah, yeah, where... this one. yeah, 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 this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. <laughs> Sabin, you will have all this information given to you before you enter the room. Okay, sir. Okay, yeah. Let me know when you are ready. Sure, sir. I'm just reading. Uh, yeah, yeah. Just going to the center. Yeah. yeah.
Hello. Yeah, are you ready, Sabin? Uh, almost, sir. Almost, yeah. I'll just give it a try. Yeah. Yes. So, do you know uh, your role? And uh, I think the previous slide also. Did you read the previous slide, Dr. Sabin? Uh, can you just uh, show me the previous slide? Yeah. Okay. Dave, so, this is your Dave role? Kevin. <clears throat> okay. This is your role. This is the problem. And uh, so I will be acting as the patient, the surrogate. Okay. 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 So you will be speaking to me. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay. Sir. I'll give it a try. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, so shall we start, sir? Yeah, start now. Time, timing starts 10 minutes. Okay, start. Okay. Uh, good evening, Mr. Dave. Uh, I'm Dr. Sabin, uh, one of the candidates here. Uh, so, so I've been asked uh, good to evening. talk to you. Uh, yeah. Candidates, I didn't uh, understand. Uh, are you a doctor? Yeah, I'm a, you... one of the doctor here in uh, the hospital. Okay, okay. okay. So okay. I've been asked to address your uh, issues which you have been facing. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay, Dave. Yeah. So I've been yes. told that uh, you had some uh, weakness and some uh, speech disturbances recently, and uh, it has uh, improved. Uh, yes, doctor. Right, See, uh, uh, Mr. Dave. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes, doctor. Yeah. Yes. Yesterday. See, uh, I was at work, and I was just finishing work. And uh, I was uh -huh. talking to my friend and uh, suddenly I was not able to speak anything. And I noticed okay. that uh -huh. uh, the right side, my arms were not moving that well. So, uh, okay. so immediately, uh, see my friend and me, my friend drove me to the hospital emergency immediately. Okay. And uh, by the time I reached there, uh, I think uh, I was a little better. So but, uh, that okay, uh, okay. some doctors saw me over there. They took my blood pressure, all those things. They did all those things, and uh, okay. uh, and they were not taking me seriously. And uh, they were saying that I have some uh, TAIO. So I didn't understand what they said. Something they said, uh, I didn't understand what that was. And okay, then they okay. just said, uh, "Okay, you take this tablet." Some uh, they gave some tablet. And they said, okay, you go home and come tomorrow. And they told me to meet tomorrow on the OP. So okay, what is going okay, on, doctor? Okay. I'm, I'm, I see, uh, I'm very, uh, I'm very stressed, doctor. What is happening? Uh, see, I had, I'm very stressed of what happened yesterday. So what is happening, doctor? Okay, okay Dave, uh, just uh, don't worry regarding that. Uh, now, uh, uh, see what has happened to you like uh, you said that uh, the doctors told that something like uh, TAI or something like that you just told me right so what they yeah. told is uh, it is called as a transient ischemic attack uh, that is called as a TIA so that is nothing but it is uh, it's a condition where the blood supply I mean uh, some thrombus or something has occluded in the blood uh, in the so what is all this, sir? I don't system. understand. What What do you mean by thrombus, sir? I don't. Uh, I don't. Uh, uh, doctor, thrombus is. Uh, yeah, I am. I am just uh, coming to that. Uh, Dave, I'll just make you understand. Don't worry. Okay. So the yes. circulation to your brain, no. So that has just got uh, temporarily blocked by some clot, clot in the blood, you know, and uh, that has uh, resolved. Okay. So when, yeah, yeah. So when the clot has occurred, you felt like the speech disturbance and uh, weakness of the hand. And when that clot okay. has resolved, then you felt better. So so that is what has happened in your case. Yeah. Sir, so uh, see, I, when I was yeah. in the emergency yesterday, sir, uh, I heard some yes, sir. doctor and nurse talking about me. They're saying that uh, this uh, I could have had a permanent uh, paralysis. I could... I was lucky to uh, get away with nothing. I could have had some uh, full paralysis of my one side of the body and all that. So you you are saying that uh, this can happen to me, sir? Like this is what could have happened to yes, me? Uh, yes, uh, yes, yes, uh, Dave. Because I presume that you are a smoker. Uh, 
because from the history i could uh, understand that you smoke around 5 to 10 cigarettes uh, per day three five and, sir and... that is yeah yeah i'll i'll see, I'll, otherwise i'm very i'm very to... fit sir i am very fit yeah. my yeah. see my diabetes i have diabetes i have pressure i am yeah. always taking these tablets it's all under control sir this five yeah, cigarettes yeah, only yeah. occasionally i have yeah yes. on uh, top of that you have uh, diabetes as well as hypertension also there so and in uh, okay, such sir. kind of uh, people and who smoke also on top of that they are at a high risk for uh, developing uh, condition like this and when the paralysis okay. occurs that is uh, when the clot if it does not dislodge that is uh, there is a permanent block in the circulation then your brain cells oh can God, get sir. damaged yeah and it, it can get damaged and it can become uh, permanent so that uh, uh, you will have a permanent uh, paralysis of uh, your hands and the speech disturbances also can be permanent so my sir, uh, my only working yeah. member in my family sir my see i i i need to work so you're saying that this can happen to me if i in the future sir is there any way that i can yes, prevent this from uh, yes. happening yeah you can yeah yes uh, yes of course there there are ways to prevent it so for that the first thing which i suggest you is uh, you should uh, stop the smoking for that i will be suggesting okay, you to go to the smoking cessation clinic so that i'll be helping okay, you with that uh, no need to worry okay. regarding that but you should uh, stop the smoking immediately you have to stop the smoking the okay. next thing uh, we can do is uh, we will be taking a carotid doppler doppler that is uh, nothing but uh, the scanning of the carotid vessels there is a neck vessel to see if there are any any plaques or any thrombus okay. or any like any narrowing of the vessels because okay. of the okay sounds good sounds good sir yeah 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 because sir, of because your, uh, you see have... my wife is uh... my wife is disabled and uh, i am the only earning member of the family sir and uh, sir so how i can drive sir i can, i need to go to work every day so i will be able to drive right sir to work uh for driving i uh, i think you need to discuss with the dvl regarding the driving but i advise you not to drive for now till we we go uh, get you through the investigations right now because okay. we need to take a ct scan of your head also to see okay. if uh, you are having any any blocks in the vessels uh, i mean okay. to the blood supply to the brain so we need to okay. do that before i can tell you anything regarding the driving and uh, okay, of course sir. i will be telling the dvl regarding your condition so after that we can decide whether you will be able to drive or not miss okay yeah. okay okay sir okay sir why has this happened to me sir i'm so young and i'm i am uh, i am my i'm very fit sir i am i am my diabetes is under control my pressure is under control why has this happened to me sir no there are uh, there are many conditions uh, mr dev uh, for uh, people like you getting such sort of conditions because uh, there are many risk factors uh, in you the uh, the most common risk factors are diabetes hypertension and and on top of that there is a smoking also and uh, okay. apart from this there are other uh, factors also which uh, predisposes a person to Uh, conditions like this so after okay, your sir. preliminary investigations and uh, uh, if uh, everything is ruled out we will be evaluating the risk factors one by one so the risk factors okay. i can tell you it is uh, divided into a modifiable and a non modifiable risk factors so like okay, uh, non modifiable risk factors are the age so aging people they are more predisposed to conditions like this so i'm still okay, young so, sir yeah so for Please young people sir, there are young. yeah so for young people there are conditions which predispose to like the blockage in the vessels so that we will be evaluating it a step by step manner after we do your preliminary investigations like the carotid doppler which i told earlier as well as the ct scan yeah
So if there is a block, will I need some operation, sir? See the block. It depends. Uh, one minute. If one minute is, left. Yeah. Yeah. Because if the stenosis, uh, like once we do a carotid. Uh, sir, I don't understand all the, these uh, words. Uh, yeah. What you are saying. Stenosis yeah. If the and... narrowing, if the narrowing in the uh -huh. vessel, it is significant. If it is more than seventy percent. Then you might need a small procedure to open to open that uh, narrowing. Okay. 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 Yeah. Fine. Yeah, but uh, if it is not uh, more than seventy percent, then we will be giving only the medicines for you. With the medicines, I okay. think we will be able to control your uh, disease activity. Yeah. So will I be seeing a, a brain doctor, a new no, neurologist, yeah. right? Can yeah, I, can, after I want the to yeah, yeah, after the preliminary investigations are ready, I will uh, uh, try to make an appointment with the neurologist as fast as possible. So nothing to worry regarding. Okay, thank you. Thank okay, you. Thanks. Yeah. Okay. 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 Thank you, Dave. Thank you. Thank you and have a nice day. Yeah. yeah thank you. Okay, well done, Sabin. Uh, so... That's uh, really good. At least you followed up structure yes. and uh, did a step by step. There are a few things. So Dr. Rahul did uh, point it out, thrombus. So you were using uh -huh. medical jargon. Uh, and yeah, you, yeah. again, in, in the later part, you again use thrombus. So try to just use clot, uh, thrombolysis, say clot buster treatment. So Okay. Always be conscious about using any of the medical terms. Uh, okay, sir. So okay. you you did had a background check of the patient, uh, check the understanding. You discuss about TIA, stroke mechanisms, investigations like the Doppler. So a quick tip: whenever you are talking about ultrasound, use the term jelly scan. Okay, so jelly it's scan is scan. a yeah. So it's an ultrasound. Anything to do with ultrasound, use jelly scan. So it's a, it's a quite common uh, term that is used in the UK. A lot of British people use this to understand the jelly scan. CT scan is polo scanner. So it's like a polo, you know, meant with the hole. So CT scanner is described as a polo, polo machine. Um, MRI is the tunnel. So because in MRI, you have to stay in the tunnel. So MRI is okay. tunnel, so ultrasound, CT scan. Okay. So yeah, and... Okay. Uh, Few things like of of course obviously nowadays you are not going to be having a question answer with the examiner, but they will ask you about what you understand about patient autonomy uh, and and those things. So because the smoking, this is a part of the ethical uh, conversation because the patient is not really uh, very understanding or worried about smoking as a problem. Whereas your job as a doctor will be to kind of stress upon the fact you did mention about smoking cessation clinic referral. That's really important. Okay. So, so that was okay. uh, nicely done. Um, and you did went about the, the modifiable, non-modifiable risk factor lifestyle modification, which is a part of this scenario where you have to stress upon the importance of uh, blood pressure control, sugar control, and, and all of those. So that was fine. Um, uh, so, Rahul, anything you want to point out? Yeah, I think uh, Dr. Sabin has done uh, well. And uh, yeah, I, just few things like uh, Dr. Suman has said, some, the medical jargon uh, is something which you need to avoid. And uh, mm -hmm. uh, if you look at the instruction to the, the surrogate or the patient, uh, there is a line given there that when the candidate or the doctor speaking to you uses these jargons the patients will get more angry or irritated so there are some really good actors which might be there during your exam and uh, they will get okay. really pissed off so okay so so you need to be careful uh, while i think information to the surrogate is there i think anyways oh. so i think uh, yeah uh, you need to have a structure and uh, I think uh, maybe you have been practicing already. You, I think you have done well compared to the the previous one. But but the thing is, you you need to keep on practicing. Okay. Sure, sir. Sure, sure. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yeah.
Okay, so we'll almost uh, pause the time. Uh, if any of the candidates yeah. have any question, feel free to ask. You can unmute yourself and uh, shout out. That's the advantage of having a small group. Right, so it's it's more about the communication is very much about practice. The history is station is out because uh, we used to do a few webinars about history as well. Uh, so that's out. Uh, but communication, we have two stations now. So this is going to be really important. And also the consultation, which is like the station five, the newest consultation, which is similar to station five, there are two scenarios. So in those scenarios, they are going to put some kind of ethical concern inside them because they're not going to keep just like a clinical exam and questions. So there will be some form of a communication being checked. So basically nowadays you have four station where how you speak is going to be tested. So two communication station and two consultations. So there's basically four station where your communication will be tested. Okay, so if there can, is no other questions. Yeah, I'm gone. Yeah. Don't see any questions. No, I don't see any. Okay, so you have the details of our basis courses and also feedback form as well. Please do fill up the feedback form. Uh, we really want to do activities that help you as candidates. Uh, you can join our WhatsApp group as well. We have a WhatsApp group for all the pieces uh, related communication and between candidates, you can also uh, share all the resources in the group. It's more like a exam oriented uh, focus WhatsApp group because it's really helpful if you have friends or colleagues who are also attempting the exam together but in case you don't have someone, you can join in the WhatsApp group and we're trying to build a community for focus on the PCS exam. Okay, so in sure. the chat box, sure. you can find the uh, feedback form link. Um, so I have put the link, please do complete the link. Thank you all for joining. Um, thank you, Dr. Suman. Thank you, okay. sir. Thank you. Okay. Thank All you the best. Bye. Okay. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.